Hey, welcome everyone to the bonus video of the multiplayer station tutorial a video I wanted to make because I forgot to tell you about few stuff and because I forgot to build a package game and to try out in a package game so first thing first I wanted to show you guys what you can do with the session uh, results because um, actually there are several properties I didn't show you guys so I'm going to show you to, to show them right now so if you can open the game instance you will have access to the sesh to the array of game session and then you will you will have the the gets the the, the get uh, component I'm doing so if you drag the if you drag this you will have uh, access to the current the, the current number of players in the session the um, maximum players the session can have the current ping of the session and the current server of the session so the server is can the server name is kind of is kind of messy right now if you're if you're using steam you're going to have the 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 steam id of the host so that that's kind of useful but if you're doing this in a subsystem null you're going to have a list of number that actually represents the the ip of the player i believe so that's it for the property the properties you can access to so with this you can uh, actually build uh, build buttons um, that uh, actually states uh, what is the ping what is the current number of players and such to to build lobby uh, like you can have in uh, unreal tournament or control strike so that's it i also wanted to show you guys actually the the build the built version, the package version of the of the um, multiplayer lobby tutorial. So I built it using. I'm gonna enable the access. I, I built it using package progre package project for Windows using 64 bytes. So right now this is the the package project. So I'm going to host a lobby, and I'm going to start another game and i'm going to check if i can join this ses the session i just created there so right there if i uh, hit join lobby i hope i'm going to join okay good good so i think that's multiplayer game yes and can i travel to level i believe i can so yep looks like everything's everything is working in built in package version so I'm going to close that up. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys that it's the destroy session node. So if you wanted to build something like something like the the client that joined the session can actually quit the session and join another one, you will need to call a custom event in order to call the destroy session. So basically, a player excuse me excuse me actually the, the player cannot a player cannot join a session if he has another station running so you will have to call destroy session on the controller you want to you want to make him join another session so uh, you could use the pass parameter uh, as we did so if you have a, a quit button in the menu that ye that that makes the player go back to the lobby, you will need to destroy session. If you join session or if you quit create session, boss will need you to destroy the session. If you want to use a join or create session and again, else it will always return failure. So that's another thing I forgot to tell you. So I think uh, we're pretty good. I'm going to check it out real quick if I don't forget to tell you about anything so I'm going to open up my my thread real quick so yep um, the limits of multiplayer blueprint right now you have uh, really few tools to handle the multiplayer logic so I think if you want to do something advanced, you will need to get through C++. But I think uh, Unreal has some plan to to un to to release some uh, 
more features, some more tools to handle uh, multiplayer with blueprint. So um, uh, that's all for this video guys, hope you enjoy the little details I put in it and hope to see you guys for future tutori tutorials, bye bye!